Now, granted, in most scenarios, it's a man initiating the date. And because of that, I do think it's going to likely fall on the man to pay for that first date. But again, I don't think it would be fair for a woman to initiate the date, but then expect the man to pay. So let's get right to it. Here's a popular question I get asked all the time, all right? And it's the simple question of who should pay on the first date? Now, as always, before I give you my answer, subscribe to the video, like the video, well, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I want you to leave your comment below and vote. Should men pay? Should women pay? And then, yeah, you know what? Just pick out of those two. Should men or women pay? And if you have a third option, throw it in there. I'm going to tell you what I think. Now, before I explain to you who I think should pay on the first date, let me give you my perspective personally. Now, I want to make something very clear. The way that I handle things doesn't mean this is the way that you have to handle things, all right? This is my personal position. This is how I'm wired. I feel the need to share it with you, but I'm going to explain how I think you and everyone else should approach this topic. So for me, I'm always paying for the first date. I'm always probably paying for every damn date, to be honest with you, because that's just how I'm wired. You know what I'm saying? I, I was raised in a way that I'm, a, I'm all about men being providers and protectors. I, I really believe in that. I strongly stand behind that. I, I truly feel like if we had more of that dynamic in place, this world would be a much better place to live. Relationships would be healthier, stronger, and happier. So for me, I'm not really comfortable with allowing the woman to pay for the date. And to be honest with you, I'm the type of person, if I go out with my, my homeboys, I'm even likely to pay sometimes. Or maybe not as staunch about it with my homeboys than I would be with a woman. But still, I, you know, that's just my nature, all right? And I've even had situations where women attempted to pay, and I was like, no, I, I, I'll handle that. However, even though I'm a strong believer in paying, there's always something I look for from her end in those scenarios. And it's not a make or break situation, but it can give her some points, and I do think it's something that women should consider. I'm going to tell you at the end what that is. So now let's jump to what I think how you should handle who should pay on the date. And to be very plain and simple, it's whoever initiated the date. Now, granted, in most scenarios, it's a man initiating the date. And because of that, I do think it's going to likely fall on the man to pay for that first date. But again, I don't think it would be fair for a woman to initiate the date, but then expect the man to pay. All right. Again, some men, if they're like me, they're going to pay probably anyway. They're not going to let you pay. But to expect that, to have that expectation and to hold it against him if he is looking for you to pay when you initiate it, I don't think that's fair and reasonable. So whoever initiates the date should be the one willing to pay for the date. Now, let me say this. I feel like in today's world, we've gotten too caught up in how much we're even spending on the first date. And the reason why we're even having a conflict at times about who should pay is because granted, everybody doesn't have the budget to handle going on a date right now. And some people would argue, well, if you ain't got the budget, stay your behind home, you shouldn't be dating. But that's a whole different video, whole other topic. The point that I wanna make here is that I think we also need to be more creative with our first dates. It does not need to be about spending money. Listen, dating is about getting to know someone, seeing if we're on the same page, do we want the same things, are we moving in the same direction. So with that in mind, the price of the date is not really important or it should not be important. And I think for men, be more creative, uh, going to a coffee shop, walk in the parks, different things, going to a museum. Now, granted, there are going to be some women who still take issue with that. I would argue 
that if she takes issue with it, chances are she wasn't that into you to begin with, all right? She was looking for more out of it because she's not really drawn to you as a man, as an individual, so she wants the superficial things to satisfy her. Because when a woman really, really likes a guy, she's not taking issue with the creative date, with the walks in the park, with the ice cream date, and simple things like that that are not expensive, but still allows you both to get to know each other and spend quality time together. So if you have an issue with how much is being spent or the cost of dates, get more creative with them. There are so many options to look into, so many things to explore. But back to what I was saying in the very beginning of what I look for even when I pay for a date, and I think men should be mindful of, and I think women should be mindful of. I'm gonna pay. I'm going to always pay, but I love to see when the woman offers to pay for the tip. Now, again, is it mandatory? No. If she doesn't offer, do I say, oh my gosh, she, we can't go any further? No. But does it place a great light on her when she's showing a willingness to contribute? That's it. And, and, and you know what? There's a chance that I still won't let her pay for the tip because that's just how I am. And, but some men, they will let you. And, and let's say I do let you. Regardless, it's the fact that you offered. It's your willingness to do that. It's your willingness to say, I'm not just here to take advantage of you. I'm not just here to have you take care of everything. I want to show you investment in this as well. I think that's a beautiful gesture. Again, if a woman doesn't do it, I don't think that means she's some horrible person or you shouldn't have a second date. But if you are a woman listening to this, Consider that. Consider that if he's going to actually take care of the whole tab for you. So this was just simple. Whoever initiates the date pays for the date. But I do think women consider paying for the tip. And if it was flipped where the woman is paying for the actual date, then as a man, offer to take care of the tip. I just think that when you have a scenario where both parties are showing mutual effort, both parties are willing to invest, willing to contribute, that's a beautiful thing. So again, let me know below, what do you think? Men should pay, women should pay, or do you like my answer? Whoever initiates the date. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.